Hi friends, welcome to Guru YouTube channel. This channel is about education and technological purposes. If you not subscribe, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Hi friends, today we are going to write a C program for C program for quadratic equation. As we know, the basic equation of a quadratic is a ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This is an equation where we have to find the roots of this particular equation. So, I will go directly to the formula. How to write the roots? Roots is equal to minus p plus or minus square root of p square minus 4ac divided by 2a. If we have a, this formula, then how can we uh, calculate the roots of this particular equation where a, b, c are the are coefficients. a, b, c are the coefficients. Now, to find this root, uh, roots for the particular equation in a C program, consider here, if we have any uh, b is equal to 0 and a is equal to 0 we cannot find the uh, what will say roots because here if you consider b is equal to 0 here are one b and one more b this whole term will become a 0 again this will become a 0 then whole roots we will get we will not get the roots if b is equal to 0 and a it's a denominator if you consider a as a 0 again we will we cannot uh, find any roots so what is the conclusion here if uh, a and B values are 0 then no roots means we cannot find the any roots for the reason uh, we have to tell the users to enter a uh, ABC value where AB are not equal to 0 okay it's a one condition right otherwise 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 represents where ABC value are not zero at the point the roots here the roots here are depends on a b square minus 4 AC term so we will consider it as a D b square minus 4 AC the roots are depends on a b square minus 4 AC if if d is equal to 0 means b square minus 4 ac value is a 0 nothing but this term where this term will become 0 at that point roots are minus b divided by 2a only because it is a plus or minus if this term becomes a 0 and 2a is only belongs to minus b by 2a so the roots are minus b by 2a if d is equal to 0 root 1 and root 2 we will consider it as a minus b by 2a only okay <coughs> where again if if d is greater than 0 greater than 0 means if d is a greater than greater than 0 means this term become a positive value if it is a positive value then what we will what we will find the roots we will get a two roots one for a plus one for a minus right so if the d is greater than 0 I will consider a root 1 as a minus b plus square root of d I will consider divided by 2a1 root 2 is equal to minus b minus d divided by 2a these two roots we will find right otherwise otherwise represent if a d is a equal to 0 if a d is greater than 0 obviously one more condition is that d is less than 0 if a d is less than 0 represent b square minus 4 if it is a less than a 0 means uh, here the roots are equal here the roots are distinct here we will get the imaginary roots means uh, roots how, how to find the roots in the in the condition of a minus 0 roots is equal to minus b plus or minus d i will consider 
टू ए बिकॉज डी आई मेड हेयर एज डी एज बी स्क्र माइनस फोर ए सी हेयर होंगी माइनस बी प्लस और माइनस स्क्वेट ऑफ डी डिवाइड बाई टू ए दिस इज द रूट आई विल गेट द हाउ कैन वी फॉर्म द रूट वेन द डी इज अ लेस देन जीरो वेन अ डी इज अ लेस देन अ जीरो एट दैट पॉइंट एट दैट पॉइंट आई विल सेपरेट अ माइनस बी डिवाइडेड बाई टू ए प्लस और माइनस स्क्वेट ऑफ डी डिवाइडेड बाई टू ए एज अ टू टर्म्स राइट वन रूट वन आई विल फाइंड इट एज अ माइनस बी डिवाइडेड बाई टू ए एंड रूट टू रूट टू इज इक्वल टू जस्ट आई विल कंसिडर स्क्वेट ऑफ डी डिवाइडेड बाई टू एन हाउ कैन आई फॉर्म दिस द रूट एज अ रूट वन प्लस आई रूट टू रूट वन माइनस आई रूट टू This is a one root. Again, this is a one more root, right? This is a C program. Uh, in the sense that we can consider it as a rough way, or say procedure, or say we can consider it as an algorithm to write a C program. Okay, first we have to read the A B C value. Later we check the condition A and B as a zero. Otherwise, if it is a if A and B are a zero. then we cannot find the roots otherwise represent later we have to consider a d as a b square minus 4ac if it is a zero root are equal if it is greater than zero roots are distinct if it is less than zero roots are imaginary right we are finding the imaginary roots this is a rough way or say rough procedure then we will move to the uh, program for the execution of this one okay Let's start executing a quadratic equation, which is started with the comment line. Quadratic equation. Comment line represents the name of the file. Sorry, name of the program. Hash include str dot dot h. Which is for the standard input of purpose. Hash include on the dot h. Just we will use these two header files. Later we will see white main, which is the main program is started. Just I am using a a comma a comma b comma c comma root one and root two. These uh, are used for the variable for the storing purpose, and the cellar SC are used for the clear, clearing the previous screen, clearing the screen where the previous results are stored. Now we have to read uh, A B C value. A B C A B C value values. The acceleration I will use here because of. Uh, Reading up of values in the next line. Scan up statement, which is used for reading percentage. Percentage. Three values we are using for three format specifiers: a comma and of b comma and of c. Close here. These two lines will read a b c value, and the values are uh, entered values are stored in a b c coefficients. After reading, we have to check that a should not be a zero and b should not be a zero. A is a denominator. Should not be zero. When you will enter p is a zero, denominator will become a zero. So it should not be. For the reason, if I I am using if a is is equal to zero and b b is is equal to zero, at the moment what we are saying we have to display a proper message to the user that roots cannot be. Can't be find the acceleration is here. Close here the if statement. Otherwise, else represent otherwise. What should what we have to do? Then the roots are depend on our d value. D b squared minus four a four star four star a star c. Right? Then the roots are depends on our uh, d value. 
okay if d is equal to 0 if the d is equal to 0 what happens if the theory i told the d is equal to 0 then the roots are equal roots will be defined the roots roots are equal equal backslash and either to is okay can how to find the root root 1 is equal to root 2 is equal to what are the roots minus p divided by 2 minus p divided by minus p divided by minus p divided by 2a to start in right then print the roots how can to print a root root 1 is equal to root 2 is equal to percentage here i will use here comma uh, any one root you can use clear in the place of the percentage close here clear this is if d is equal to 0 else if d is greater than 0 if the d is greater than 0 what we will find print we will find the roots are distinct the roots are distinct distinct what are the roots here i told in the theory uh, roots are minus p plus square root of b square minus square root c divided by 2a one more root is minus p minus of square root right two roots we will find here for the reason root 1 i will use here in bracket minus p plus yes qrt yes qrt in bracket d divided by 2 star a Started, right one more root. root second root is nothing but in bracket minus b minus of sq rt in bracket d divided by 2 star sorry 2, two star a okay these two roots we will find then sq rt is a function which is a present in the math dot h so we have to use a math dot h here Hash included math dot h. Otherwise, we will get the error when we are executing the math. One more d we are not mentioned here. We have to mention a d here, comma, right? P here we calculate b square minus 4 ac for the reason we have to use d. So we can print the each root root 1 is equal to percentage of backslash and I will use here double quote completes comma root 1 bracket complete then print a root 2 comma root 2 is equal to again a percentage of backslash and comma root 2 mm. okay these are the two roots we are printing if t is a 0 if t is if t is greater than 0 if the both the conditions are false represent in l else plus else part we are going to manage the roots are less than zero if the roots are less than zero imaginary roots will find roots are imaginary imaginary okay backslash right if we are getting a imaginary roots then uh, what we are making minus p divided by 2a is a one part and a square root of d divided by 2 is another part we are, doing, we are taking so for the reason root 1 is equal to minus p divided by 2 star a okay. root 2 yes q r t bracket d divided by 2 star a okay then how can we print the roots x plus i by form right so we have to print the roots as a printf root 1 is a nothing but um, x plus i by form we have to print in this in this in the representation percentage of f plus i percentage of f okay in the place of double comma root 1 comma root 2 this is for 
root as printf for the minus also root root second root we will call it as a second root root 2 percentage of f minus i percentage of I will put a copy root work on root 2. Okay, then get ch. Get ch close here. Save it again. Openly, you have to save the program whenever you are executing. Compile it. One error we got. Compose it in this. this Okay, here else is started here, else is not closed after this else, right? Before the get stage, we have to close. Okay, save it again, then execute. Over it, yes, compile it. Okay, compilation zero warning, zero error. Now run it. Oh, what is the value? One space, two space, one. Then if, if you are giving 1 to 1, then the roots are equal, this is the answer, equal, roots are equal, this is the answer you will get, okay. Again, we have to run the program, now next is a 252, 252, these are the values checking for the real and distinct, whether the roots are distinct or not, yes, these are the answer we will get distinct roots okay later if we will get if we will give a 0 0 4 roots cannot be fine because ab values are 0 0 last run is nothing but 1 4 7 right what is the value Roots are imaginary. Okay, these are the roots. Something is going wrong. Any and some error is getting. Just we will rectify there. Why we are getting here? We are not considered the absolute value there in the representation. Square root of absolute value here. F A B S. Absolute value of this one. For the reason we are getting the error there. So saving run it. What are the values? 147. 1, 4. These are the values we will get, right? Root 1 and root 2. Okay. Root 1 and root 2. Just again, if we use a backslash n perfectly, it will display. Okay. 147. 1, 4. Seven, right, we we'll get a proper perfect answer. Bit here. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe to this channel, and post your suggestion in the comment box.